Hello folks, Oxo back again. I'm now in the process of um, making my outpost underneath this trading post. Um, I was going to try and do something a bit complicated but now I decided in the end just to do something basic like a glass house and that's what I've done. As you can see it's nowhere near finished yet but um, yeah I put a little little ramp up there so I didn't have so far to go up if I want to go to the terminal. Um, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be okay. It's gonna it, it looks big, but it's bigish. I'm gonna have 400 gamma root like that. There's 40 in a line, so 40, 80 in each one. And what I've done, I've left that on purpose because I'm gonna show you how to flatten the land because um, it undulates all over the place. As you can see, when you put something down. It actually takes away some of the terrain, like um, leaves gaps and all that sort of stuff. But well, the way to get around that is when you build. Um, it doesn't do. I don't think it with the cube boys up, but I haven't tried the cubes yet because I want to try the new stuff. This is all concrete, and I made the square first, the glass um, walls and the roof. Did all that, and then this was all undulated and it had all the um, little mushrooms and plants inside and what I did was I used the um, slabs, the half slabs, these ones completely filled out all the area to flatten it and this is how it does it so that's why I left this little bit because I want to finish this off so um, I can show you what it actually does and it makes it nice and flat for you to plant your plants plus of course having the little slabs like that is a nice little marker to keep them in a straight line so what you do you see you need to flatten this see how it is so you need to put it all down put it down first so it flattens it nicely and pick it up oh there you see now I want it around the edge if I can so I put there and it, oh, it flattens it nicely see it's the same, it's the same level just keep going round and going from the ones you've already put down so it keeps to the same level because on that one where are we this one for some reason it started to go down see how it's dropped there it's dropped a little bit so I just do this and I'm leaving the slabs in hoping that all these little mushroom little things don't regrow and that's it just keep doing that and then pick them up and you get your resources back that's it, see how that's dropped? There's something to do with the terrain, it's a bit weird. But anyway, I want the gap, so let's... I'm going to pick these up now, just go and pick these ones up. Oh, pick the end one up. Probably need to pick the end one up anyway, but let's put it down again. Because getting to 40, I had to pick this end one up. Because to plant that last one in there to make it 40, you need to leave the gaps so you can get by, so you have to have a gap, don't go right up to the wall. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, let's put this other one down. Um, there we go, put that one back. Now I don't know what to do here because, um, hmm, I want it even, so I want, I don't, I can't, it's pointless putting another wall out, unless they do half walls. Do they do half walls? Let's have a look. They might actually do half walls. I'm sure I saw one. Let's have a look. I'll put that down in a minute. Let's get rid of that. I wonder if they do half walls. They do. Um, okay, so what we need to do... Have we got enough room? Hmm, I might run out of room. Let's see. Because I want to put that, um, so what we got, that's 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, that we 6, um, yes, yeah, 6 times 18, what's that, hmm, that would be 480 pounds, <laughs> um, 
don't know if I'll do that yet. But um, you see what I'm doing? And then um, you plant them down. I can only plant another three. But you need to do it on the same side. Get on this. So where's my plant? Gone. Oh, wrong one. That one, please. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, well, I can only bung another four in. So I start right on the end. Leave the gap there. So it's nice and straight. So, and then just walk. You just walk back, obviously. And you need to um, plant it down. Just a space. Maybe a, just a couple of mo moves. Plant it down. Couple of moves. Plant it down. Couple of moves. Keep it in line, plant it down. That's it. That's all I've got left. But I need another 36 <laughs> to make that 40. So we have um, each little line has 80 in it. So I'm going to make 400 in total. Yeah, it sounds a lot, but when you look at it four hours, um, you want a big lump at that end. Albeit you might not get it all in your your slots, but um, you can fill up in that four hours. Totally come with an empty slot, an empty um, crater. <coughs> Hopefully by then, when you're doing it properly, um, initially it'll be piecemeal, but once you've got the 48 slotter, you'll be laughing. Just fill it up and then go and sell. So that's as far as I've got so far. Um, I'm not going to titivate this much. This is my outpost for the farms. But this is going to take me a while. I've now got to go and farm some uranium. Now I'm not going to keep buying it all. So half the ships that are coming into the station haven't got any on them. So I'm going to have to farm it, and it's going to take a while because I need loads. Because um, you need 100 uranium for each plant, plus uh, 25 chromatic metal. So yeah, a lot of farming to do. Um, what else? Oh yeah, um, another thing I found out. Do not put this inside your base. Do not have that inside a base where you've got a low roof. Because it's spawned, I, I had this covered, it spawned me in and I got stuck. Because you actually spawn in on top of the damn thing. And I got stuck and then a couple of seconds I thought, oh this is going to freeze. But it chucked me out, luckily enough, to over here. So I removed the ceiling because I had this all inside. But you need to keep the base computer outside of the actual base, don't put it inside, unless you've got a double ceiling, um, if you've got a double high ceiling then it might be okay, but if you've only got one level then don't put that on the inside, that's what I found out earlier on, yeah nothing much to look at, it's just a freaking glass house isn't it, but it's going to do the trick, it's going to make me a load of money I hope, um, yeah in time, <laughs> anyway let's quickly do a save, Okay guys, um, it's going to be a while for me, it's probably going to take me quite a while to farm all the material I need to plant this whole lot out, but you'll see in the next few seconds because um, I'll carry on and show you when it's finished. So catch you, for you lot, in the mo. for me it might be tomorrow or the next day. <laughs> anyway, see you soon. Hello folks, I'm back now and it is the next day and um, I had to go, I, I went around the planet, there's sodium galore deposits everywhere, but I did search for about, I suppose about half an hour, didn't find one single sodium deposit, um, uranium deposit, and there's supposed to be uranium deposits on the planet according to what that tells you with this, it says sodium, uranium and copper, now if you see that on the thing then sodium and uranium should, should be known, so the uranium node is very rare on this planet and so yeah I, had, I ended up buying all the uranium that I could I found a station that was selling it so I bought it there and planted this lot so yeah it's the next day and I've already picked I picked half at one stage and it's now it's starting to grow it's going to half stage now um, and I've made some living glass and all, the only amount of living glass I could make out of all that I've got so far is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 32, 32. So I made some glass as well, which is going to give me 2 million. 
but this in total on on the minus uh, terminal it's given me about 17.9 million something like that I haven't looked at this terminal here because I did it at the um, ice base terminal let's have a look what this one gives me I'm going to need to have to look for a terminal that gives me in the positive at the moment it's all in the negative so I'm not going to sell it yet unless I can find a positive one see minus eight eight percent which is giving me 18 million um, yeah they certainly up the um, it's a it's I wouldn't say it's a nightmare but um, what I've got here in my outpost now is not enough definitely not enough um, I'm going I am going to actually extend it to do 480 but then I'm going to obviously sell some what I've got now to make the money to buy some more uranium because I'm not going to start hunting for uranium see if I can buy it so I'm going to extend this out so I can put another row in that will give me 480 plants I think even then it's going to be a <laughs> not that much but you need the space you just run out of space at the moment I don't have all the space on my um, uh, suits and that so that's basically it the farming now to gain any sort of decent money and the, and the time the time scale is crazy you're looking at where are we at? I checked it out all the others you've got um, 16 hours for solar vine and 16 hours for the cactus and they're the longest the shortest times is the frostport which is only one hour all the rest are between four well the lowest is gravitina host which is two hours I didn't look at the venom merchant and the albumin pearls but yeah farming they've certainly hit the farming you can't well yeah you can't make some money because they're quick it's but it's convoluted again um, also it's down to space the amount of space you've got in your exosuit and all the rest of it so you really need the best way I suppose to do it overall but then you're looking at two days to um, once you've got the farm set up you're looking at a two day real life period to pick if you want to fill up your slots because you've got to wait your four hours and all this sort of shit so yeah it's a pain in the bum it's not as um, I always say it was easy before but it's a lot of work but the thing is then once you've got the stuff you need to look for a positive selling terminal otherwise all those um, hours you've made making the farm and actually farming it. it does take a while to farm it the way I've done it um, but this sort of mega farm you couldn't build in one place you need too much so you need to you know do what I do do outposts do them on the planets um, if you're on the PS4 there's no way you can do this because you can't, can't extend your base function whereas on the PC you can I know that they have extended but it but you will come to a limit if you're trying to do a mega farm um, and the only way to make money right now is to have a mega farm yeah I don't think you can you can make bits and pieces of money but every four hours if you make a small farm you're going to get a pittance for your work so you have to have in my opinion as many far um, plants as you can possibly manage in one place and um, the PC yes you can up your TK graphics so you can extend your bases even further which I've done um, I haven't built one yet that big but um, yeah you're going to need loads anyway guys I'm going to call this video here because now what I'm going to do I'm going to try and find a plus term was pointless recording that to try and sell it uh, currently I've got um, 5 million 918 so let's see what sort of a profit margin we get 18 million is not too bad for the work I've done so far um, I literally you just waited I mean I picked it when it when it came went to the other farms and made it it took me about I don't know 20 minutes maybe 25 minutes at the most to pick it and make it all and then have it ready so maybe half an hour the way I toss around so yeah so they've certainly changed the farming it's a lot more convoluted Anyway guys, um, if you got this far, thank you very much and I'll catch you in my next one.